Hi folks. I thought I'd tinker around with a five second countdown this time. I mean, this is a very short story. This is video number 166. And the title is The Blue Speedo. This is a short story about a friend I trained with at Fort Belvoir and served with in Vietnam. There were 23 in the upper level mechanics training classes. As told in earlier stories, there were four of us who ended up in the 34th Engineers Construction Battalion at Phu Loi. Greg Dixon, Keith Boffman, Bob Allison, and me. Greg was from Delaware, Keith from Massachusetts, and Bob was from Florida. This story is about Bob. We graduated in late February 1970. It's interesting to meet people who have never seen snow. My mother sent me a picture of uh, the 20 inches of snow that fell on Easter when I was in Vietnam. I showed the picture to Mama-san. She did not understand what I was showing her. I went to the little fridge and scraped some ice out of the freezer box. Next I put it on her neck and gave her a good chill as I pointed to the snow in the picture. She looked at me and said, DIE! DIE! <laughs> she was totally amazed. Now back to Bob. Fort Belvoir is just south of Washington, D.C., about 12 miles. They get snow on occasion. Not two footers, but I've seen five or six inches. Of course, that shuts down everything. It's gotten that way around here. When we were kids and we got a good snow, the school bus still came. It had chains on. Now two inches. Schools close. We trained 12 hours a day, six days a week and sometimes pulled KP in the world's largest mess hall. There were five serving lines and 5,000 troops were served three times a day. OCS and their instructors. This one particular day while in school, it snowed four or five inches. It was dark when we got back to the barracks after dinner. Bob ran to his locker and started taking off his clothes. Next thing we knew, he was stripped down and put on a bright blue Speedo bathing suit. We asked, Bob, what are you going to do? He said, I've never seen snow. I'm going out and playing it some. We told him he'd catch pneumonia going out like that. We could not dissuade him. Out he went. It was around 28 degrees. As we watched from the third story windows, that was Bob making snow angels with nothing on but that blue speedo. When he came in, he was a bit blue himself. We wrapped him up in a couple of wool army blankets. He survived just fine. I wish I had a picture, but none of us thought of it at the time. It was a sight to see. He did make nice angels. Well, that concludes my very short story about the Blue Speedo. I guess we're all waiting for the final outcome of the 2020 presidential election. And I think we're all hoping to do away with this mask business to prevent the COVID-19 bug from jumping on us. I also think we've all realized the mask doesn't do a darn bit of good. We can still catch the flu, we can still catch that. Just a political tool at this point in time. As far as I can tell. Well, in light of the fact that 2020 has been a really crappy year, I still sincerely wish everyone all the best.